Welcome to the Sacramento County Child, Family, and Adult Services Policy and Procedure Training on the Office of the Ombudsperson. The Ombudsman functions as a neutral party designated to resolve complaints from the public and outside agencies and answer questions about DCFAS agency policies, procedures, and practices. The Ombudsperson serves as a liaison between DCFAS and the public, governmental agencies, elected officials, and private agencies. The directives, inquiries, and requests made by the ombudsperson are given with authority of the DCFAS director. The ombudsperson conducts investigations in an independent and impartial manner to ensure that agency policies, procedures, and practices are consistent with the DCFAS goals and missions. The ombudsperson seeks to resolve issues in a fair, thorough, and timely manner and to ensure individuals are treated fairly, respectfully, and with dignity. Here are some definitions that will be helpful throughout this training. Public. Any individual requesting information about or involved in a CPS or SAS referral or case. Governmental agency. A local, state, federal civil service organization or local, state, federal elected official. Private agency. For-profit and non-profit businesses not operated by local, state, or federal government. Chain of command is the reporting authority and responsibility. Number one, line staff. Two, supervisor. Three, program manager. Four, division manager and or deputy director. Five, director. Complainant. Any person or agency with a complaint or question that requires a response from staff or from the ombudsperson. Ombudsperson's responsibilities. The ombudsperson receives complaints and questions via telephone, email, formal written complaint forms, and letters from the public, governmental agencies, elected officials, and private agencies. They are to review complaints and refer disputes that are out of the ombudsperson's scope to the appropriate agency. The ombudsperson is to collaborate with all levels of DCFAS employees to resolve complaints. When necessary, information provided to the supervisor or manager should be in the following format. Date of notification, name of person submitting concern or complaint, nature of concern or complaint, including the name of the county employee if appropriate, and any other pertinent information provided by the complainant filing and reporting the concern and complaint. The ombudsperson will research agency policies, procedures, and practices to assist in resolving complaints. They provide complaint investigation responses to the public, governmental agencies, elected officials, and private agencies, and provide reports and statistical information to the DCFAS director, CPS division, and SAS division with the goal of improving policies, procedures, and practices. Ombudsperson's Limitations The ombudsperson cannot give legal advice. They cannot investigate matters when appeals or lawsuits are pending against the county. They cannot overturn a court decision or make recommendations to the court. They cannot intervene in personnel or disciplinary matters, and these matters are referred to an agency manager for appropriate action. Staff Responsibilities All DC FAST employees are responsible for resolving complaints related to their particular job assignments whenever possible. When resolution at the staff, supervisor, or manager level is not possible, employees should refer the complainants to the ombudsperson. When communicating with a complainant, employees should obtain all relevant information regarding the concern or complaint by working directly with the complainant and or other sources. They should encourage the complainant to contact the employee's supervisor or manager in the chain of command. And they should ensure the complainant is provided with the DC FAST ombudsperson's program brochure and formal complaint form. Supervisor and manager responsibilities. Upon receiving a telephone call and or email from the ombudsperson, the employee's supervisor or manager is responsible for investigating the concern or complaint. When responding to the ombudsperson regarding the concern or complaint, the supervisor or manager should clearly state the finding and resolution. Personnel matters are outside the scope of the ombudsperson and should be handled in the consultation with the Department of Personnel Services. Complaint Process Timeline if the complaint type is child safety on an open referral or case, or elder-dependent adult safety, 
on an open referral or case. The ombudsperson's action is to gather facts and immediately report to the CPS SAS hotline. They will also email the assigned social worker, supervisor, and program manager. The supervisor and manager action is to respond within two working hours, acknowledging receipt of the email. The escalation is if there is no response within two working hours to send an email to the CPS APS abuse hotline. If the complaint type is for personnel issues, the ombudsperson's action is within two working hours of being notified to email the facts to DCFAS director and CPS deputy director or SAS division manager. The supervisor manager action is to consult with the Department of Personnel Services and take appropriate steps. If the complaint type is regarding policies, procedures, and practices, the ombudsperson will, within two working hours of being notified, email facts to the program manager and division manager. The supervisor or manager's action is to respond within 24 working hours acknowledging the receipt of the email. If there is no response within 24 working hours, the ombudsperson will send an email thread to the next level of management in the chain of command. The supervisor or manager's action is to respond within 72 working hours, providing the solution and estimated time to resolve the issue. If there is no response within 72 working hours, the ombudsperson will send the email thread to the next level of management in the chain of command. The supervisor or manager should, once the issue is resolved, provide an update to the ombudsperson. There is no further action required if this is done. Here's a list of references that were used in the writing of this policy. The following attachments can be found in Policy Tech when you search for this policy. The Department of Child, Family, and Adult Services publications. Brochure is in English. Brochure is in Spanish. The formal complaint form in English and the formal complaint form in Spanish. If you have questions regarding this policy and procedure, you can email dcfas-admin-policyandprocedures at sacccounty.net. Please make sure you put Office of the Ombudsperson in the subject line. Please make sure you complete the quiz following this training. Thank you so much and have a great day.